I, I want to show you something in the scripture this morning. I, I want you, we've been dealing with the rainbow word yes. all week. Yes. And I've been showing you the power of the word and the power of the word becoming alive. Yes. And uh, a lot of times uh, we don't want to hear the negative because we want somebody to encourage us because we feel like if somebody would say something encouraging, it will strengthen us. And in some cases, it will do a temporary fix. But until you learn how to deal with the tax, you'll always have something coming against you to discredit God, to discredit his ability. Amen. That's and right. So I'm, I'm, I'm for getting the long haul of the manifestation so that God won't be discredited when it looks like he's not doing it. Because he's a God that do not fail. Amen. Evidently, though, to most of us, he just don't do it the way we want him to. Amen. Amen. So uh, we're going to deal with some, some errors and some things in your life. Go to Numbers, the 14th chapter. Watch this. Look at your name, Nick. Say, I love you. I love you. Say, but I'm going to say something. To say something. And I need you to listen to me. Say, when God tell you something, when God tell you something listen, listen, obey. Obey. And, and it will be, it will be well, well with you. With you. All right? Amen. I know it's about the kids today, but I need to show you this scripture because we're going to put this with the kids because I'm going to show you two scriptures that's going to fit what we're trying to do about the kids. All right? Numbers the 14th chapter, and we dealt with this Thursday night, is about the murmuring of the children of Israel. All right? Now I want you to hear me very, very carefully. I'm trying to this is our year of fulfillment. This is our year that God's going to give us everything that he's promised and then some. Unfortunately, some of you only trying to hold out for the everything. And we got to not only get the everything, we got to get what goes with everything so our season will endure until he comes. Amen. That's what he wanted when he was sending them to the promised land. Amen. He promised them to take care of them, provide for them, and be there. Now, before he got them there, he, he not only promised to do it, but he was doing it, taking them there. Amen. What I need you to do as the members of Soul Harvest, and talking to Soul Harvest members now, because I'm responsible to, for you. All right, boy, you getting this? I love you. All right. But I need you to do is say after the day, I will no longer murmur, complain, or talk to my children in any harsh or nasty way. All right, all y'all be the death children. Y'all gonna start fast in the death. Y'all gonna start spending time in prayer for these kids. Amen. You understand? Amen. Unfortunately, when you didn't know God, you messed them up. Yes. Now that you know God, let's do it right. Amen. Mm, I ain't getting no help Amen. with this. Amen. All right? This story is when the children of Israel uh -huh. have been <coughs> and saw the promised land yes. and come back and two say we can, and ten say we can. All right. Now God is angry because he is tired. Yes. They asked for food, he gave it. They asked for water, he gave it. He gave them the cloud yes. over them in the daytime. Amen. He burnt a fire in the nighttime. Amen. He made all kinds of provision. Yes. Whatever they wanted, he did. Yes. But this is the scroll that broke the camel's back. It could not go any further. And let me help y'all. Take me in love. But this is where today you got to cut. Yes, man. Amen. And I, I, I don't understand 
that I can bring you information and prophesy to you and tell you what God say, and if it ain't got you jumping and leaping, uh -huh. you reject it. Tell me, Mr. Porter, where I'm messing up at. Yes. And give me space and opportunity yes. to set it in time. Yes, so don't leave me hanging. Amen. Help me out, God. Amen. I don't want to miss God. Amen. I don't want to miss nothing he got for me. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, I want all mine and yours too. Because what you're saying to them, if you ain't going to do it, I'll do it. They complain about where they walk. Now let me help some of y'all out. Oh, it's raining outside. That's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. I see no thing but beauty, Mr. Boyd. That's right. Amen. Y'all didn't go to science? They didn't teach y'all that the rain changes the atmosphere, yes. replenish the earth. Yes. Do you know how necessity yes. rain is? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Amen. The Bible says everything that God did was good. Oh, it's so dreary outside. It ain't dreary outside. You drift. Complain. Yes. 
he said to Moses, how long is these people going to provoke me? <laughs> they came back yes. criticizing who was there, what kind of power they had, mm -hmm. what they were capable of doing. But Caleb said, come on, let's go get it. We're well able. Yes. Right. Yes. He understood that what they were about to take on, that God was in charge of you out. 